That pitcher is going to throw you something you can hit most of the time. Notice how I didn't say strike. How many of you wait to make sure it's a strike before you actually try to hit it? It's okay, I need you to raise your hand because I can help you out of that. Strikes don't matter unless you're an umpire. So let the umpire do his job or don't even let him play the game. How do you not let the umpire play? Boom, we hit the ball. Strikes and balls don't matter as long as you're sending them to the gaps. They never get recorded as a strike or a ball. They get recorded as a hit or an out. So I want you to test yourself today. There is no right or wrong. There's green and yellow. There's on time, there's late. That makes it a lot easier to be like, well, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just a little late. Because if you're just a little late, there's something that you can do to get better on the very next pitch. If you're doing it wrong, it's hard to do something right on the next pitch when the next pitch is not going to be on a tee right there for you. It's going to be moving around and changing. Like you can't practice one idea and say, I'm going to hit all outside pitches right here after it passes my foot that way. This ball isn't moving on the tee. So where would it go if it was coming really fast at my bat and I hit it right here? Now we're adding this. How many of you are good at geometry? It's going to start bouncing off that way. Sense? The faster it's coming, the more I have to think about hitting it before it would ever get back here. The only thing I can hit back here like this is like average speed pitching. 50. I can let 50 get right here and be like, ooh, yeah, right down the line. 60, foul. 70, foul. Ground balls. That pitcher is going to throw you something you can hit most of the time. Notice how I didn't say strike. 